SIP math can be done in Excel with nothing but the index formula and the data table. If you have Excel 2010 or later, you can also use sparkline graphs as shown in the first video. But that's really just icing on the cake. These two columns contain SIPs, generated with a RAND formula and then frozen in place numerically. These formulas up here are index formulas. They're driven by this cell over here. So when I change this from 1 to 2 to 3, the index formulas point down into the various rows of the SIPs. And this is where the data table is. This yellow cell is what drives the data table, and this is where the SIP math takes place. So if I go to this cell and type C1 plus D1, then bang, it runs the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on through this cell over here. This then runs the index statements, pushing the SIPs through the index statements, which feed this cell, which then create all these values down here. Here. Let's try our old friend C1 times D1. Two spinners multiply together. There it is. So now the question you should be asking is how many trials do we actually have here? Wow! A hundred thousand trials! Watch this. Undo redo. Yikes, that's fast. The beauty of SIPMath is that it's auditable, repeatable, and may be aggregated across multiple applications running in different environments. But if you want a quick and dirty simulation based on random numbers, you can simply replace the index formulas with equals rand. Now you don't even need the SIPs. So let's change this back to C1 plus D1. Still mighty fast. One of the pioneers of data table simulation was another Nobel Prize winning economist, Bill Sharp, who was exploring this in Lotus 123 in the late 1980s. Back then it was a clever novelty, but today computers and spreadsheet software have become powerful enough to apply this technique to real world problems. Visit us at probabilitymanager.org to download the sample files demonstrated here. Or better yet, become a member for access to the SITMATH modeler tools and other reserved materials. Please visit us at www.probabilitymanagement.org to learn more and to support this important nonprofit effort.